In a South African cave system located about 100 feet underground, paleontologists claim to have found the oldest known burial site in the world. Their findings will be featured in Unknown Cave of Bones, premiering in July on Netflix. Let's take a look. In 2017, my team was conducting excavation at the base of the chute. I'm sitting in the command center, and the you know, scientists down there, the explorers, wave to the camera to get my attention. And then I look down there and I see his little fingers coming out. National Geographic explorer in residence and world-renowned paleoanthropologist Lee Berger joins us now in studio to discuss this discovery and his continued dedication to improving our knowledge of human origins and evolution. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Yes, yeah, a pleasure to do so. Okay, so tell us about the lengths that you and your crew who are undertaking this excavation had to go through. I, I understand that it involved even losing weight. It, it did for me. The, uh, the people I select tend to be quite thin and quite small people. This is an extraordinarily dangerous environment. Mm. You're 120 meters, like 400 feet back in a cave. You have to go down 100 feet through what we call a chute labyrinth, which is areas with squeezes down to seven and a half inches, lateral movements, you're always moving in a different direction. One of the most dangerous entries to an archeological excavation in the world. Only 46 people had ever been in there. Um, we were about to publish these burials, these graves that we discovered of a non-human species, and there were questions. And so I decided to lose 55 pounds um, over a period of, of about five months and make the attempt to get in to try and answer some of these questions. And in the process, not only answered the questions I was after, but also made discoveries like uh, meaning-making symbols carved onto the wall above the graves of these non-humans. It was extraordinary. Most fantastic thing I've ever done in my life and the worst thing I've ever done in my life all at once. Why almost worst? Died. Well, I almost died. Um, on the way down, I had to make some decisions to pass through spaces I was not sure I could get out of. Mm. No one can help you in this space. Obviously, I didn't die. And, and it was all worth it. And it was absolutely worth it. And, and of course, we now have announced that, that this non-human species with a brain slightly larger than the chimpanzee a quarter of a million years ago buried its dead in a way until this moment we thought only large brain humans and our relatives like Neanderthals did. And so this really changes for those who do believe in evolution, changes really the thinking on that. It is, it's, it's dramatic because it also, you know, we humans often try to figure out reasons why we're exceptional, why we're different, why, and we, and part of that's our big brain, we're smart, and we do things like bury the dead. We make art and symbols and meaning-making objects. Those were the things that separate us comfortably from other animals. That just ended. We just found a non-human species that did those not only as well as we do, but before us. And these symbols date back potentially 241 to, to 335,000 years That's ago. That's right. For somebody who's not an, an expert in anthropology, just give us the, the, the magnitude of that. So let me, let me put that in perspective. The oldest art, uh, the oldest sort of meaning-making symbols that we have ever seen come from a coastal cave in South Africa by Homo sapiens and 78,000 years old. Mm. 78,000, that's a long time ago. But that's the first time we thought that humans were becoming humans. If these symbols, as we hypothesize, are made by this non-human species, they're not only using their brain better than we were at the same time, but they are carrying with them the sort of cognition of creating meaning. They're thinking about death. They're thinking about the future. They're creating something. Think about that. Now, you are the National Geographic Explorer in Residence. Right. That sounds very official. <laughs> what does that mean? It's an oxymoron, right? Because <laughs> if they're seeing me, I'm not doing my job. <laughs> I spend all my time in Africa. I come back here. What it means is that National Geographic Society, you know, it was the founder of modern human origin studies. And part of my new role in this great new age of exploration and discovery, which I really do think we are living in the greatest age of exploration in this field, is to bring back that central focus, bring it back into society and let the society do good and change the entire field and world because it's our story. This is the story of us. You, your excitement is contagious. <laughs> I, I feel excited about this time. 
Thank you so much, Lee, for joining us. We want to let our viewers know that you have a new book that's coming out, Cave of Bones. Cave of Bones. That'll be out in August. That's right. All the best to you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having me. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.